I'm Big Joe Egan, and Mike Tyson once said of me, I was the toughest white man on the planet. Please believe me, it takes some courage to enter a boxing ring with Mike Tyson. But not all boxers can be legit, for one reason or another. Woodford Town Football Ground, June 1986. The hardest man in Britain, the legendary Lenny McLean, the governor, is running his own promotion in an afternoon of unlicensed boxing. Why unlicensed? McLean was denied entry to legitimate licensed boxing owing to his violent reputation, his unpredictable temper and his criminal record. In the main event, Lenny is pitted against six foot seven inch Essex bin man and club bouncer, Man Mountain York. His corner man is his brother Roy York, another infamous doorman. In attendance are the great and the good from London's north, south, east and west firms. Notorious villains and aspiring gangsters are here to witness the governor taking on another pretender to his throne. The MC introduces assorted faces, noted former opponents like Roy Pretty Boy Shaw and gangsters like South London's Joey Pye. Man Mountain York is six foot seven and 21 stone, but McLean fears no one. The governor begins to unload some of his bombs. Though it's supervised and legal, unlicensed boxing is not recognized by the boxing establishment. Rules are looser, and the head is a valuable addition to the fighter's armory. The crowd sends blood and the mountain is toppled. Savage, brief and unforgiving. Vanquished, Man Mountain York leaves the ring. It takes some nerve to organize an attempt on the life of the governor of unlicensed fighting himself and then to fight on his undercard. Well, that's what mad Barry Dalton did in June 1986. This is some rare unseen footage of Barry's fight with South London's Ray Nelson. Mad Barry was a freelance enforcer who worked for several of London's criminal firms. He often went about his work tooled up, and it's curious that he should be sharing the bill with Lenny, because sometime previously Dalton had been behind an attempt on Lenny's life when the governor was shot and wounded on his own doorstep. It's unlikely that Lenny had forgotten this slight, could it be that no one had told him that Barry would be appearing on the bill with him? It's also said that Mad Barry took the risk of turning up to fight because he was in dire need of a few hundred quid and hoped that Lenny might let it pass, as in water under the bridge.
In round three, Mad Barry really goes to town with his head, and hard though it is to do so in unlicensed fights, he gets himself disqualified for illegal use of the head. When it was over, Lenny didn't overlook Mad Barry's misdemeanor, and after the show he burst into the dressing room to threaten and abuse him for his barefaced cheek. For Mad Barry that was a close call, but a year later it was even closer. Barry strayed from his Canning Town haunts and was found in his cab in North London shot dead. The scenes you're about to witness of a fight between John the Gravedigger and journeyman fighter Alfie Cole. A mass brawl erupts in the crowd and the referee changes his decision. During the 70s and 80s, unlicensed fights prospered as groups of villains or firms sought to launder their ill-gotten gains. Rival firms from London's north, south, east and west wagered large sums of cash on the outcomes of fights between their representatives. Such promotions were often held at unlikely venues and kept under wraps until the last minute. Woodford Town Football Ground on a sunny day in June 1986. It's an unlicensed event and the money's down. And so is Alfie Old King Cole. Is this the way it's supposed to be? The gravedigger is heavily backed and Alfie is meant to lose. But nobody seems to be following the script. What does this mean? Has the grave digger had enough? Or is he declaring, as he later claimed, that this is nothing, he's unhurt? His legs seem to disagree with each other. Has the fight been stopped? There's unrest and consternation around the ring. Bill the Bomb protests. The fight can't be over, and the gravedigger can't be allowed to lose. But now other people are getting involved, especially Alfie's backers from the rival firm, the North London Contingent. Bill the Bomb ejects the unwelcome bare-chested visitor from North London, and a mass brawl involving the opposing camps ensues. Amid the fighting, the bout stops again, but before it can be declared a draw, so that nobody loses and everyone holds on to their money, Dark Glasses spots the hidden camera, and dark forces move in and put an end to filming. 
Lenny, having survived two shootings, two stabbings and a murder charge, died of cancer in 1998.